What is one computer skill that you are surprised many people don't know how to do? A couple years ago my mom wanted to know how to better use computers, so she went to a class. She realized she didn't belong there when the first lesson was teaching people to use a mouse and some of them just couldn't figure it out. I taught a computer course several years ago. I remember the biggest thing for most completely new computer users was not looking at their hand while moving the mouse and being terrified of breaking the computer by accidentally closing a window or something. Oh. And knowing whether they should single click or double click this was a major preoccupation for some. Considering the level of office work required in most corporate America, you'd be surprised by the number of people that don't even have the basic understanding of simple office software. As an ad manager and having dealt with a ton of people, this and their basic inability to operate a computer, like knowing what you're trying to log into, asking for your Google password to be reset, and wondering why it doesn't work for your Windows login. Win plus S H I F T plus S to mark an area to screenshot. I use it several times a day in my job and I've seen people instead press print screen and then paste the entire image into paint and then select the area they wanted to screenshot into a new image and then save it etc etc. I'll have to try that as I'm definitely one of those people. Google effectively, not just Google, but to find any meaningful information from Google. Let's say you have a computer issue, your monitor is simply came unplugged from your PC. Many people might just Google why won't my computer work or computer won't turn on. Sure, that may eventually lead you to checking your monitor is plugged in correctly, but I bet, if you Google PC turns on, but no picture or PC turns on. But no screen slash black screen you're gonna get a helpful answer much, much faster. And this goes for any kind of problem that you're googling. Dishwasher not working frigid air model xxxx dishwasher stops after rinse cycle. You get the idea. Generally, the more granularity the better. Actually reading the error message, instead of just clicking OK or close whenever a window pops up. Happens a lot in its support. I'll ask them to replicate their issue. They'll just click off all the windows. Me. Wait hold on. What did that pop up thing say? Them. I don't know. Me. Sigh. Working in phone customer support. The number of times I've had an old person do a Google search for a web address instead of going to the URL has made me realize most middle aged and elderly have no idea what a browser or address bar are. Type back quote site URL into the address bar. I did. The page isn't here. 9 times out of 10 they were just on a Google page. And I lost a week of life expectancy. The simplest functions in Excel sums. Multiplication. Division. It's just not that effing hard. People see spreadsheets and their brains just turn to mush. I guess. I've seen people take a column full of numbers in Excel and add them up manually. And then type in the sum in the bottom cell. I was training a new 22y slash Okaoka and noticed a lot of her typing mistakes involved both the first and second letter of a sentence being capitalized. I inquired about it and her response was sometimes I don't turn caps lock off fast enough I was puzzled but kept it cool. I decided to watch her type a little later on and sure enough she would hit caps lock every time she needed a uppercase letter followed by turning caps lock back off. When I told her what the shift key did she was genuinely mind blown. She had just graduated college. I believe that most of our children are growing up on what's known as the iPad generation. Besides using Word and Excel, most of them do not know how to do much else. This 100%. As a teacher, I've been saying this for years. Kids and teens these days aren't as tech savvy as they claim to be, or rather we claim them to be. They grew up in a world populated by apps, very user friendly apps. 90% of apps have the same structure the lines or dots to indicate the menu, same style controls or swipe methods, etc. They know which apps to find and can navigate them very efficiently. However, ask them to do intermediate level tasks on a desktop or even successfully using their browsers when researching and they struggle quite a bit. Things I learned in tech slash computer class in the early 2000s is not really taught anymore. Instead, it's heavily focused on programming and apps. And while very cool and likely a marketable skill, they seems to skip basic functions and tools. How to change a sentence between upper and lower case in Microsoft Word, Outlook or PowerPoint. If you accidentally leave caps lock on, 
Select the text and press Shift plus F3, and we'll change it between uppercase, lowercase and title case. I'll preface this by saying I work in it. We get lots of people calling who say they don't know anything about computers. I'm fine with that, as long as you reboot every night, and know enough to do your job. The people that really piss me off are the people that can't plug up a computer. It's just shapes. Surely you learned that in kindergarten. Yellow rectangle goes in yellow plug. USB goes in blue rectangle plug. Ethernet goes in the one that looks like an Ethernet jack. The monitor cable goes in the trapezoid plug. It was awful. When we sent 900 people home during the height of COVID, no people can't do it. We've had to start color coding the back of the PCs. I had a lady give up and plug it into a power outlet when trying to help her set up her modem. Even after trying to explain it, by describing an AC power outlet and plug she still said it was too much for her, and her husband would call back, how are you 50 plus, and get overwhelmed by plugging something into a power outlet, how is this something, that has never occurred in your life. People are generally pretty computer illiterate, I'm not a tech guy whatsoever, but a basic understanding of she will save you so much time. I used to work at a planet fitness and good god do the managers need basic training in computer skills. I was treated like a god for knowing how CTRL plus F worked, and having a basic understanding of snipping tool for printing out quarter codes. They used to really push us to sell gym essential kits, and when writing reports on how much they sold they would bring up the report and count one by one. I was a front desk guy, and had to show my regional training manager that, if you just press Ctrl F and type in an individual employee's name, however many times it came up minus one, it showed the employee's name one extra time, was how many they'd sold. This saved us hours over the course of a week, in typical manager fashion. He went ahead, and took credit for this, and promoted his real life friend who was bad at their job. F that place, I've never seen a company with, that much incompetence at a manager wide level. Basic troubleshooting, apparently most people don't seem to know how to fix basic tech issues on their own, despite everyone knowing Google is a thing. Just Google any error codes, and see what can be done to remedy them. It isn't rocket science, if you read the instructions. My 12 year old was telling me yesterday how she always struggles to get a footer on a word doc for her IKT classes. She told me she can do the header okay, but can never find the option for the footer. Her jaw dropped when I showed her you can just double click on that area of the page and it goes into footer slash header options lol she told me I can't wait to show my ed teacher this. I'm a computer tech with 20 plus years on the front line. The most ridiculous call I ever had, which prompted my other computer techs to come into my office to commiserate, as well as admire that I kept my cool for so long. I worked to explain for 10 freaking minutes where the Windows Start button was. I'm never surprised at the lack of knowledge of the end user. I find a lot of younger people, like early 20s and below, don't know how to do really basic things on a computer because they were raised on smartphones and tablets where everything is so simplified. I volunteered in a teen graphic design class a few years ago and the number of kids who would panic thinking their projects were gone because they weren't in the recent items drop down anymore and they didn't know how to search or use folders and the os was crazy. I think adults assume kids naturally know everything about tech now so they don't bother teaching them basic stuff like that.